お知らせです。A quick announcement. Enrollment for the complete course package ends on December 4th, 2022. This package includes eight courses from Japanese 1 to 6, listening course and a kanji startup course. If you want these eight courses with a discount, please join the package before December 4th. Then you will have unlimited access to all the contents even after the package is closed. Find all the information in the description box below. Today, let's learn how to ask what do you think and how to answer the question with your opinion. This is a sample lesson from Japanese 6. では、始めましょう。We have learned how to ask yes or no questions. Do you think in the previous lesson? Now in this lesson, let's try open-end questions to ask what do you think? Take a look at this question from the previous lesson. Do you think sensei is Japanese? 先生は日本人だと思いますか Now, let's try to convert this yes or no question to the open-end question. What do you think? First, We no longer need this quotation part in the question, so let's drop it. Then, we have to put the question word, what, here. But here's something that you have to remember. In Japanese, we phrase the question, what do you think, this way. How do you think? So, nani doesn't work here in this question. Instead, You have to use the question word how in Japanese, which is do, do. This is how we ask the question, what do you think in Japanese? どう思いますかどう思いますか This is one such example that word to word translation doesn't always work between two languages. Different cultures express things differently. That's why phrases like itadakimasu don't exist in English and bless you doesn't exist in Japanese. Okay, back to どう思いますか Now, to indicate the topic of the question as in what do you think of the topic? Then, you mark it with the particle o As the direct object that you are thinking of, like this. トピックをどう思いますか For instance, if you want to ask, what do you think of the current prime minister? Then you say, 今の総理大臣をどう思いますか今の総理大臣をどう思いますか This is the original structure of this question. However, in daily conversations, the particle o is often dropped when we ask, どう思いますか The element comes before the phrase, どう思いますか is always a direct object. There are no other cases, so people now think it's kind of pointless to mark it with the particle o. And then this version became most common. In writing, we often put the comma in place of the particle to indicate you need a slight pause here. 今の総理大臣、どう思いますか Of course, when somebody is expected to speak most correctly and properly, such as interviewing a guest on a TV program, then the particle o will be used in the question. But I'm not going to use it in this lesson since it's not very common in everyday communications. Okay, let me show you other example questions. If you are making a schedule for a work event or planning a trip with friends, you can ask a question like this. What do you think of this schedule? このスケジュールどう思いますかこのスケジュールどう思いますか Or, if you are shopping with your friend and want to ask for his or her opinion about the thing that you want to buy, then you can ask, 
What do you think of this? これどう思いますかこれどう思いますか If it's not a thing but a place that you want to rent, for example, then you can ask, what do you think of this place? ここどう思いますかここどう思いますかここ means this place or here in Japanese. If you are looking for a new apartment with your roommate or your partner, then you would ask the same question in informal speech. What do we do to convert these questions into the informal version? Right. You only need to change the main verb, 思います to the plain form, 思う So these are the informal version of these questions. 今の総理大臣どう思うこのスケジュールどう思うここどう思う This lesson is a sample lesson of a Japanese online course, 日本語6 The course teaches you all about Japanese plain form and informal speech. It also provides 81 pages of PDF materials and worksheets. You can go to smilenihongo.com slash c6 to learn more about the course. Now, when you respond to these questions to express your opinions, you most likely use I think, 思います and quote what you think. Let me show you some example responses to this question. 今の総理大臣どう思いますかいいと思います。いいと思います。I think he's good. まあまあだと思います。まあまあだと思います。I think he's so so. The adjective so so in Japanese is まあまあ and it's an adjective. If you want to say, I think he's trying his best, you can phrase it this way. 頑張っていると思います。頑張っている is the plain form of 頑張っています、which is the ています expression to indicate the ongoing action here. As you know, いる is the plain form of います。And as I mentioned in the past, this e is often dropped in the expressions te imas or te iru. So, I think he's trying his best in the most natural translation in Japanese is 頑張ってると思います。頑張ってると思います。Of course, for this particular question, it's also possible to respond with your liking or disliking of the Prime Minister. I don't like him very much. あまり好きじゃないです。あまり好きじゃないです。Let's try a different situation. This question, what do you think? can be also used to ask for others' opinions about your plans or wishes for the future. For instance, let's say your friend still lives with her family, but now she wants to start living by herself, and she wants to know what you think about it. Living by oneself in Japanese is Hitori Gurashi. Hitori Gurashi. Your friend first expresses her desire as in, I want to do hitori grashi. Hitori grashi shitai desu. Hitori grashi shitai desu. Then after that, she asks you what you think. Dou omoimasu ka? Hitori grashi shitai desu. Dou omoimasu ka? If you think it's good for her, You can say, いいと
思います。いいと思います。If you think it's going to be tough for her, you can say, 大変だと思います。大変だと思います。大変 is an adjective. If you think it's going to cost money, you can say, お金がかかると思います。お金がかかると思います。お金がかかる is a set phrase meaning it costs money.If you think it suits her, then you can say, 向いてると思います。向いてると思います。This comment, 向いてると思います can be very useful and you can use it in many situations, so you may want to take notes. It means it suits you in the sense that you are going to be good at doing it. So you can use 向いてると思いますと give positive feedback about the person's desire for a new activity, a new job, or a new lifestyle. If you want to assure the person or sound more convincing, then you can use the pariko yo at the end and go like this. いいと思いますよ。大変だと思いますよ。お金がかかると思いますよ。向いてると思いますよ。Before we wrap up today's lesson, let's see if you can do this. Imagine that you have a friend in Japan. She is Japanese, 22 years old, and has never lived in a foreign country. Now she says this to you. Your country に住みたいです。どう思いますか You have to put the name of your country in the blank, okay? So if you live in Australia, for example, she is saying, オーストラリアに住みたいです。どう思いますか What do you say to her in your response? You can leave your own opinion in the comment area if you want, okay? どうでしたか I hope you enjoyed the sample lesson. The current complete package with Japanese 126 listening course and the kanji startup course is going to retire. This package offers 8 courses with a big discount. So if you want this package, please get it soon. After the package retires, it no longer accepts new students. But if you enroll now, you have unlimited access to the package even after it retires. ではまた次のレッスンで会いましょう。